Glover and Electra, and I'm going to just about the same thing as Robert, and Robert was then showing to me some of the books that we've got then, soon they've got about these wonderful books that we've collected, and so we were showing you around that before you even showed you around to me, especially, I hope by the way, the wonderful first edition I remember Robert's family, many years. 
that actually my introduction to Robert was done by many good things to me. Peter uh, Jones was the one who introduced me to Robert. I should have been along to that studio before, but uh, Peter was here today. He had been along the scene there, and he had also the painting of his children done by Robert, which has one of Peter's uh, houses now, and he's very pleased with that. But it was Peter who saw not only what a uh, good painter Robert was, but also what he was doing for Plymouth. I mean, anyone who does good things for Plymouth is very much high up in uh, Peter's book. And so right from that moment, we've been friends, and right up with, that, with, with, with Robert too, because he understood what Peter was doing, and well, especially as I understand the decision about what's going to happen down there all together. It's not yet resolved. So I hope that all together the council, the MPs up here, the uh, lottery funds, and so that we will join together to ensure that that place in Plymouth is what uh, Robert was wanted it to be. That's to say, all the pictures kept there and in their proper place, but all the books too, because when I went there, of course, uh, he was soon showing me around his wonderful library. Some of the volumes there are absolutely priceless. He had uh, collected them knowing what he was doing. He was the philosopher. Philosophy was supposed to be his subject, and of course he had a, a wonderful edition, a wonderful first edition. I remember of Hobbes's The Fire Thin. If you've never seen such an edition, I tell you, it was one of the wonders of the world. And I understand when I saw it, I said to him, what an excitement it would have been for my father in Plymouth. You see, my father was born in Notridge, just round the corner from where Robert had his, has his studio and where the studio is now. Just round the corner there. My father was absolutely, would have been thrilled to see how he had not only the pages there but the books and how we must make sure, absolutely certain here from the day, that all the money is going to come all to each other. Is. Now, as for this painting here, now, Somebody say it's unfinished. I tell you this, uh, and there's uh, some idea it might be necessary that I go to the house conference. Too good for the house conference, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Too good for the house conference. He's got to come back to put us on the stage. We let him have it up here for a little while. Tony Max is here, so we'll. Yes, he's here now. Ah, Tony. I mean, I <laughs> Tony. Okay. Tony, thank you very much for coming. And thanks for all the promises you're going to keep about our painting in the future and all the assistance you're going to give us with the government for the rest of it. I know you've got your ear, you've got your hand on it. You've only got to express the word Tony and all the money comes out of the government. And so we're going to hold you. If we don't get it, a tremendous effort, though, is to be made by the people down there, the people who knew and loved her, Robert, you know, and knew him and family here, and they were the ones who knew him better. And the people who come out of the a tremendous effort there is being making to ensure that we keep the place down there in the way that he would want, and that it makes the great addition to the wonderful things that we've got in Plymouth anyhow. So take the last look at this, you have beast. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure where, you, where they put it in there. I'd say get somebody else's photograph in there, you know, they can push it away and some what are they thinking? But this one we're going to have back in Plymouth. I hope that all of you will be there when it's coming back in Plymouth for our celebration there. I may not be quite good enough then to come along, but I'm um, happy to put a whole march back to our belt to be sure that we do it last If you do it in a weekend. And so anyhow, let's celebrate this, but let's make sure that everybody knows what a wonderful contribution Robert made to Plymouth, our city, our beloved city of Plymouth. Yeah, I couldn't believe anybody could make such a wonderful addition, but he's the talented. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming, and thanks for all the you for payment for the MPs for here.